want to know things considered, my name is Tim Young. Let's get right to the news of the day. First off, Michael Williams. He's running for governor of Georgia, and he came up with a new way to use an old school bus by repainting it and calling it the deportation bus. That's right, he's going to get rid of all of the illegal immigrants in Georgia if elected by driving this bus around personally, to throwing them on and driving them back to wherever they came from. Let's hope it's not overseas. Take it away, Michael. Hi, I'm Michael Williams, and boy, do we have some exciting news to you. We have our bus tour ready to go, but it's not gonna be one of those pansy political bus tours. We've got the deportation bus. We're gonna implement my 287G deportation plan that's gonna fill this bus with illegals to send them back to where they came from. And you wanna see this bus filled with illegals? Vote Michael Williams. Just like the Wienermobile, but full of promises and maybe illegal immigrants at some point, who knows. Last night, the Seattle City Council passing one of the most ridiculous pieces of legislation I've seen in a long time. They're going to penalize large businesses for bringing their businesses to town. Follow the bouncing ball on this one. So say you're Amazon.com and you bring a thousand new jobs to town. Taking the tax off of the income of those people just isn't enough for the city of Seattle, so they're going to charge the company now $275 per head. Originally, it was $500 per head because, you know, you don't want to have big companies coming to town with lots of jobs without hitting them for as much money as possible, and now more money than you hit them with before. That's apparently going to solve their homelessness problem, not increasing minimum wage to $15 like they did, hurting every small business that has to pay individuals. They're going to now tax more people. So if you're a business and you want to move to Seattle and you have a lot of jobs to provide that could of course end that homelessness problem they're trying to end by adding the tax, they're going to penalize you more for bringing those jobs to town than just letting you come to town and employing people who need jobs. That's uh, That seems like it should be illogical, but to them it was okay. Really, it seems like they're going to be chasing businesses out of town with that. Why would you even want to stay there if you're going to have to pay extra money into the system to continue to operate in town? It doesn't make any sense at all. In other news, it doesn't make any sense. Nikki Haley was apparently criticized for saying that it was okay for Israel to defend its borders yesterday when they were being attacked by terrorists from Gaza. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, like, the news seems to be saying that Israel is attacking innocent protesters, but then there was this tweet that said that they had the occasional grenade or Molotov cocktail that they were throwing at Israel. So why shouldn't Israel defend itself? They should continue to let themselves get attacked. That's the idea. They shouldn't defend their borders. That doesn't seem to make any sense. I'm so confused by the news today. Between Seattle and this, it's just like a crazy time. I mean, it's not like there's a man who had the police called on him for a domestic dispute with a parrot, right? That would have been just a crazy way to... What? All right, well, that's a... Uh, I think that's a wild enough day. It's actually kind of a slow news day, but tonight it is midterm elections night, and I will be joining the team at One America News live on their network to break down the midterm elections. So you guys should tune into that. It's going to be a good show, as always. Thanks for watching, guys. We're here every night of the week, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click the like button, click the heart button, click the smiley face button. Share with friends. I'll see you tomorrow night. And tonight, after you finish watching this, turn on One American News. Turn it on. Turn it on.